Hello and welcome to the new The Walking Dead World Beyond reaction. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the fourth episode. Okay, so uh, I am really enjoying this show, but like I said last week, it could go faster. Uh, because they're not going very fast and the storyline isn't really going anywhere yet. That sometimes makes it really boring and that kind of takes away my attention and that's very sad. So I really hope... Uh, more stuff is going to happen right now because like I also said I am excited to see what is going to happen and where this is leading up to but it's just taking so damn long <laughs> so I really hope uh, we'll get some more this episode but um, yeah we'll just see so let's go just saying nice try we might have taken a wrong turn by how come you're smiling <laughs> hey how come you're smiling we got just enough wood and water to get us to Oma except Oma has north all Felix wants is to get them back, but there isn't really anything to go back to, right? Oh wow! Let's go. Oh cool! This is also with those drawings and stuff. I really love how they do that. That's so cool. We can cover more ground if we split up. We can handle ourselves. Someone taught us, in the end, it's all about avoidance. Keeping distance is the difference between life and death. Yeah, if they actually taught them some real shit, like going outside and okay. killing walkers, I would trust Thomas, that more. You can meet back here in one hour. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Looks like it's me and you, kid. People actually wore these? I mean, yeah, this like shit this. started around 2012. <laughs> Wait. So. Did you? I can neither confirm nor deny. I had one of these too. Oh my god, stop. Do you have second thoughts? I did. But then I got second thoughts. All my second thoughts. Happens. The agency told me and your mother. You shared a crib. You were bonded before we ever met you. From the moment we laid eyes on you. Both. We just wanted to protect you. So they're adopted? We knew that even if we couldn't, you'd protect each other. Well, that wasn't here before. Um, it's fucking creepy. Is it from an empty? I hope so. Suddenly a random Must have been injured trail something. of blood. Oh shit. There it is. There's something else in there? Okay, I gotta say, I do like the abandoned high school vibe. Sadie Hawkins. Huh. Must have gone to school here. Huh? Let me try. Didn't they just get in there? Water damage. Oh. Felix. Batteries Walkies are so untrustable. I'll be better. I'll stop being a screw up. I'm not going on this trip because of you. You are not a screw up. Of course I am. How? They said we couldn't communicate. Well, I figured something out. Not show this device to you and your sister, Felix. I already know. Felix. His family. Hi. Oh, How did, does it even get that in there? You okay? Yeah, I'm just claustrophobic, so I'd rather not think about it. This one's not going anywhere. Now I'm thinking like, was it someone in high school who was locked up in his locker and then he died in there? Maybe that's a bit too cruel, but I have no idea how the heck it would get stuck in there. You're not ready for this. I can't lose anyone else, okay? Oh, that's exactly why I need your help. This is so shady. Okay. Just think about it. Ew. What the hell? Did you do this? Maybe it's some kind of no, wild animal. A lion. I've never had so much fun before. Shit, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> you think they knew? How good they had here? I don't think so. Sodas, dances, art class, the freedom to be 
whoever and whatever. Kids really don't realize that until they're older and they have to I work for the rest of their lives and they're like, I wish I could go there. back. But high Good school thing. is hell, so yeah, mixed feelings about that. Talking about what they thought I did, I'd hear it all day in my head, over and over. I don't out here. Good. When someone wants to save. What did, what did they think that he did again? Was it kill his parents or something? I'm still kind of mad about last episode when we thought we were going to find out about his backstory and then we literally got nothing. Oh, it's a wolf. No, not the gun. Oh my god. You expect to find walkers out there and then there's a wolf. Old timey dances, I mean, women in ball gowns, waltzing to a song just like You see, that's something where I would like to go back to. Must have been so glamorous. When I was four, my grandma took me to a ballroom dance class at the senior center. So you do know how to dance? Okay, come on. I don't, I don't remember. I don't believe you. I really don't remember. The guy was four, give him a break. Like. This, right? <laughs> it's so obvious that okay. they're going to fall in love. And ooh, They've ooh, been flirting and... for three episodes straight. <laughs> well, actually, since the yeah. last one. We're getting there. <laughs> Come on. Or a bit. <laughs> Who's behind them? Oh shit, this is cool. <laughs> Say about the show that we won, but the way they make those certain things, like what we just saw, <laughs> are just great. <laughs> you sure about this? Oh my god. <laughs> not been rated and what the hell is that ah you know they they call it empties here but the subtitles still st say walker like walker growling so i'm allowed to call them walkers okay it always feels weird because they're always like empties who even decides to call them empties like oh look zombies let's call them empties yeah. we gotta get past the subject uh, yeah mm. can i see you open up Y'all sure about this? He's just quite tall. Hmm. Okay, and they didn't even have to kill it. But what I wanted to say, they all have different names for walkers. Like some people even call them monsters. Like in... The Walking Dead Telltale. It's a weird thing how all these different names for them. Yes, start to exist then in the beginning, but no one calls them zombies. That, that's something I, I always thought was weird because when an apocalypse happens here, I'm quite sure most people would just say zombies because that's just a common term. But yeah, maybe that would be kind of weird to, to call all those people you maybe knew and loved. So I don't know. <laughs> There is... Oh my god! Kill it! These children, seriously. I agree with Felix, they're not ready for this. But I also think it's kind of Felix's fault because he should have trained them better. Well, actually, he just gave them a self-defense class, but... He just gave them like more like notes, like this is what you have to do. They never actually fought, so I can't blame them. They should have been taught better. Iris, help! We need to get this door open. There's empties in here. It's coming. Kill it, then. That's why I was being crazy. You get a fresh start. Even his own mom testified against him. Is that really 
smart to do with your hands. I'm sorry. That's why they both been stuck. <laughs> How is that really their thing? Oh my god, now I remember I had a friend once and we actually did the exact same thing. Like when we saw each other, it was just putting up our middle fingers. <laughs> Why is there bats? thought it was a high school. Oh, I think this is like an infirmary? Or how do you call that? Like when you're sick? I you think I cut my dad. It's okay. Whatever you think. I just... Don't. It doesn't matter. But are we ever going to find out what really happened? If he really killed his dad or not? Well, I don't think so because I really get this vibe like everyone hates him, but actually he's just a really good guy. Yeah, I don't know what to think. I, I just want to get a group photo. Come on, everybody in. I thought you only used your camera to document stuff. Since when do you take pictures of actual people? I don't know. Since now. What about himself? I he don't... should be in there too. <laughs> Puck is me in every picture ever. <laughs> me when I don't know how to behave. But yeah, I guess that's just a really gay thing to do and I believe Huck's pretty gay. So guys, I appear to be very stupid. You all know what I'm doing right now. Um, I forgot the post credit scene. <laughs> I mean, I just didn't see it and uh, I, I just wanted to start editing and then I saw people online Telling about how the post credit scene was the best scene of the entire episode. So I was like, what post credit scene? Yeah, if people say it's the, the best moment from the episode, I, I have to watch it. So um, while I was editing and don't actually have a lot of time because I want to get this online today. I um, decided to go upstairs and watch that scene. So let's do that. Test subject to A402. That's Set their photo on the picture. The displayed no necrotic plasma and brain fluid are being drawn for further testing. Results to be compared to tests performed during and immediately following reanimation. Known in life as Dr. Samuel Abbott of Portland, Oregon. What the hell? So that's what they do with the the test subjects. Oh, that's crazy, man. Thank you, subject A403. Okay, okay, here it says that um, it ends with the post credit scene that teases big things for the Walking Dead universe. So I guess this is quite important then. Also, I know everyone has been talking about that this all has something to do with Rick. So that's also kind of, well, not, not fully the reason, of course, but it is a big part for me to keep watching. It just says that the A and B things are, the A and B names are really important for some reason. And that that's kind of explained right now, or that's where this is going. Yeah, that's that. Okay, I kind of agree with the people who said this is the best scene of the entire episode. But they literally always do that. In the previous episode, they also um, had a scene at the end. Which was, well, kind of more exciting than the rest of the episode. So, it, for me, it kind of feels like they're just trying to make us keep watching um, with these things. But in the meantime, they just want to tell another storyline, the storyline from the children. But I honestly think they could do more with this. So I'm glad there's there was another scene because I like the scene. And I'm curious about what this all means. And if it's really important for the Walking Dead universe, then of course I'm excited about that. But I just wish they'd do some more stuff with this, you know? But yeah, what, what I want to say that this post credit scene is really weird time because... Uh, it, it comes even after um, the next time on Walking That World Beyond, the promo. I mean, you normally do a promo like at the very end, right? So I, I guess that's why I, I didn't really see it. Now let's move on to the rest of my review because I'm putting this right after my normal reaction and then um, now you can see the rest of my review. I'm sorry for being stupid. But yeah, um, I actually like this episode better than the last one. I think because they were in that abandoned high school and I just really like the abandoned building vibe, especially uh, big buildings, what, like where people actually, yeah, went through so much stuff and, and 
where so much happened actually before and then it's abandoned and it just gave me that vibe and I like that or something. We still didn't get much further but I honestly think that this is just the speed of the show and I think we'll have to accept that if we continue watching because it's not gonna go faster. It's been like this since the first episode and um, I think it's really like focusing on the uh, emotional side and the psychological side of all of this and of these children and how they deal with it all. I already didn't try to do that but um, yeah you shouldn't compare it too much to the actual Walking Dead I think because this show fo just focuses on really different things and different aspects of that but that doesn't take away that I really expected something else before I started. Uh, when I read what it was about this was not what I expected um, but I do enjoy the characters and I do enjoy this group. I just really wished we would finally get an actual episode with an actual backstory that made sense and that just that was just finished you know so we have some answers because right now it's silas they're they're showing this again this backstory kind of but we still don't know the actual answer and i'm not sure if they actually want to show us that or if it's just like you can guess yourself it's open for interpretation but if if he's yeah, it's, it's a little weird because if he didn't kill his dad, why wouldn't he just say so? I mean, it's not like Iris wouldn't believe him. But I have a feeling that he didn't do it. But because he's not saying anything, I that gives me the feeling he did do it. So I, I, I just want an answer, you know. I'm also going to be really honest. In the last episode, we had the end uh, with the guy who wasn't sure about what they did. And that he felt bad about it and then he got taken away. I felt a little stupid after that because I was like... Huh, but what did they do? I mean, I saw they kill people, but what happened actually? Um, and then uh, some people explained to me that they actually killed uh, Hope and Iris, their entire community, because they were a threat to them. They thought they were a threat. And I feel so stupid for not knowing that, because that was quite a big thing. Uh, but I'm glad you guys told me, because I was really confused. I mean, they, I knew they did something, they killed people, I just didn't know it was their community for some reason. I really missed that, don't know how, but yeah, I know it now. So that would mean that there isn't actually anything to go back to. I mean, Felix and Huck are trying to convince them to go back there, but there isn't anything to go back to, right? Yeah, I wonder what, what they're actually doing and, and, what, and why they're doing it, so yeah. I really like that in this episode, they like split up in three groups and then just went by the two of them. And then we actually had some deeper conversations and not just, yeah, a bunch of bullshit, you know. Oh, and I really liked, like I said, I already liked the, the abandoned high school vibe. But when Silas and Iris were going to dance and they like turned around and then there were all of these people. And it was like a, like a memory or something. It was really cool. And also that in the beginning you saw that there were actual people walking in the high school. And that it was just, there were people there. And then it's abandoned. You see it abandoned. That was really cool. I like that. So it's really weird to think that these children never actually went to... Well, an actual high school. They got school there, of course, in their community, but it's not the same, of course. It's really weird to think about, but uh, it also kind of shows what this show is about. Children who grew up there, so yeah. <laughs> uh, with that said, that was my reaction. I hope you liked it. Uh, did you know, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, also, make sure to check out my Haunting of Bly Manor episodes. I'm trying to upload three a week, so... Uh, yeah, I can upload it as fast as possible because everyone's hyping about it right now so much and I just want to get them online. So make sure to check them out. They're really nice, even if I say so myself. So uh, yeah, that was it. Bye!